lecture 39 multiple integral now we'll discuss the geometrical interpretation of integral so if we say fx is a function in the integral x equal to a b and then integration a to b fx dx is what is a numerical equal to the region bounded by the curve that is the curve fx and x axis that's an x axis and the straight line x equal to a and x equal to b so these are two lines x equal to a and x equal to b so we write what the integration a to b fx dx is what is an area of that bounded region a b c d so integration is what is just and through the integration you can just find the area bounded by that curve below the below that curve and above that x-axis or we can say an algebraic sum of the area of that particular shaded region bounded by that curve and the lines x equal to a x equal to p now the double integration so when we integrate a function of two variable it means we will integrate over the region r square that is two dimensional space now assuming that the region is r2 that is two dimension is a rectangle if it is a rectangle then which we will denote as suppose we take a region x1 x2 and y1 y2 this means that the range of x and y we get x1 to x2 and y1 to y2 so here we discuss the two cases because you have to understand the concept of area and volume through the double integral so suppose if we want to find the area of the region bounded by the two curve as shown in below in that graph you see we have two graphs y1 is equal to gx and y2 is equal to that is fx so the bounded region between this curve we have to find the bounded region that is say is capital D so we use the area of bounded region we use the double integration we integrate a to b and integration gx to fx dx dy here the limit of y is what gx to fx and when we integrate first we integrate with respect to dy then the constant limit x equal to a is equal to x equal to b so through this we can find the region between these two curve bounded boundary region between these two curve here you have to notice that the area uh, this area or the region can be found by the single integration how if you take a to b and take the difference fx minus gx dx so we get a region or the area of that region that is d and another way and if you want to evaluate the volume so if suppose we take a function fx is greater than or equal to 0 so start with the graph that graph surface because fxy what is fxy this is the function fxy this is the surface so the given graph is fxy over the rectangle that is a rectangle r so the volume if we integrate that surface on that region when where x is taken a to b and y is taken c to d so this is the region where we evaluate the surface so if we integrate that surface on that region so the limit a to b that is the limit of x and c to d that is the limit of dy and we are taking a function function means that's a surface so we obtain the volume so you have to here you have to notice that if you are doing double integral between the two curves you get a region or a area and when you are integrating the surface that is f x y the surface in the particular region so you get a volume so that's the basic difference here we take f x y we are integrating a surface between the limits 
and here we are just integrating between the double integration between the two curves now discuss the evaluation of double integral so if there are two type of region that we have to look at here let the region r be bounded by the curve says x equal to x1 x equal to x2 and y equal to y1 and y equal to y2 these x1 x2 and y1 y2 may be a function so here we take a first case then x1 and x2 are a function of y that is we can say x is equal to phi 1 y and x is equal to phi 2 y means we are taking these are two curve and the y1 y2 the limit y1 y2 is constant it means we first we take the integration with respect to x then y so here uh, the limit or we can say the limit of y is what is constant that is y and say this is x and these are two curves means the x1 is in the form of y and x2 is in the form of y these are two curves so if we are taking the limit x lim the limit of x in terms of y and y the limit of y is taken as a constant so if this is y1 and say this is y2 so in that case the integration double integral we are evaluating first we are evaluating with respect to x we are taking the integration first we with respect to x and substitute the limit then the remaining function we are obtained with respect to integrate with respect to y so what will happen here when we taking the integration with this first integration with respect to x so what will happen that we are taking a small strip and which is expanding along the x axis then we are taking the integration within the constant limits then the strip is expanding in that direction so we obtain the complete region which is bounded by that lines and these curves so here you have to notice that what we are taking a strip is that is pq and we are taking a small region del y so here the double integral is evaluated first with respect to x treating y as a constant means when you are taking the integration with respect to x treating y as a constant and the resulting expression which is a function of y is integrating with respect to y between the constant limit y equal to y1 and y2 so in that way we are evaluating the double integral if you are taking x1 and x2 the function of y and the limit of y1 y2 that is the limit of y in constant term so case 2 is just reverse of the case 1 if you are taking y1 y2 are a function of x that is y is equal to phi1 and y2 equal to phi2 x and x1 x2 are a constant so you can see that graph these are we have two functions y2 and y1 and these are two lines that is x is equal to we say this is x1 and says this is x2 so between that region we have to find the region so the double by the using a double integration if we are taking the limit of y in the terms of x so first we integrate with respect to y and the resulting we integrate with respect to x so in, in that case the physical interpretation is same as in the previous case when we are integrating with respect to y so it means a small region del x is expanding along the y axis and when we are taking the resultant we are taking integration with respect to x so it will be expanding along the y axis so in that way we obtain the complete region one more case we are discussing here that is case 3 if suppose x1 x2 the limit of x x is constant and the limit of y is also constant y1 is c and y2 is t means uh, we are integrating between the rectangle so in that case when we are evaluating a double integral the order of integration has no mean means either you are taking first you are taking the integration with respect to x or either you are taking 
with respect to y so the order of integration has no set so so we start with a simple example here we have to evaluate that integral 1 to 2 4 to 3 x y plus e raised to power y dy dx so here first you have to identify which is the limit of y and x so as you see the order of integration dy dx so we can say the limit of y is what 3 to 4 that is a yellow color and the limit of x is what 1 to 2 so here the both the limit are what constant so you can take the integration first with respect to x or with respect to y so the order of integration uh, doesn't matter in that case because the both the limit are constant so we start the order of uh, integration so first we take the integration with respect to y so 1 to 2 now take the integration when you are taking the integration of that function with respect to y to, so treating x as a constant what we what we get so we get x y square y2 plus the e raised to power y we write e raised to power y now apply the limit 3 to 4 dx so here yeah, when you apply the limit integration 1 to 2 so we get the upper limit we get 16 x by 2 plus e raised to power 4 up to the lower limit 9 x by 2 minus e raised to power 3 now that is the resulting integration you integrate that with respect to x now we when we take the integration with respect to x so we get 16 x square by 4 e x e raised to power 4 that is a constant term 9 x square by 4 and that is x e raised to power 3 now apply the limit 1 to 2 now, now applying the limit we get we get 16 into 2 4 by 4 plus 4 e raised to power 4 9 4 or 4 sorry 2 e raised to power 3 now the apply the low limit we get 16 by 4 minus e raised to power 4 plus 9 by 4 and plus e raised to power 3 when you simplify this what will we get 21 by 4 and this plus e raised to power 4 minus e raised to power 3 so this is the resultant on evaluation that integral so in that way we can easily evaluate the integration now one more example here again we have an uh, double integration and we have to evaluate here and the limit of integrations are constant so you can take the integration first with respect to x or with respect to y so if we taking the integration first with respect to we can say with respect to x so you write 1 minus x square 1 minus y square so when you are taking the integration with respect to x so treating y as a constant so what we get 0 to 1 so the integration of 1 upon 1 root 1 minus x square we get sine inverse x and that function is taking constant so I apply the limit 0 to 1 dy 0 to 1 after applying the limit sine inverse 1 we get pi by 2 and sine inverse 0 we get 0 and function root 1 minus y square dy now take the integration with respect to y 
okay, pi by 2 is constant term the integration of 1 upon root 1 minus y square we get sine inverse y by the limit so we get pi by 2 again the pi by 2 minus 0 so we get the result pi square by 4 so on evaluating that integration we get pi square by 4 so in the constant limit you can integrate first with respect to x then with respect to y or first you can take integration with respect to y or then with respect to x you get the same result so you take an example evaluate the integration 0 to 1 and 0 to root 1 plus x square t by dx and the function is 1 plus x square plus y square so here you have to notice that the limit the one limit is both is and not constant this which is 1 plus under root 1 plus x square so here you have to identify the limit of integration so that limit is what it is in the term of x so we can say this is the limit of y and this is the limit of x so here the limit of y is not constant is in a term of function so we take the integration for the first with respect to y now we take the integration 0 to 1 0 to 1 plus x square root 1 plus x square plus y square dy then we take the integration with respect to x now here the function is what we are taking the integration with respect to y so, so treating x as a constant so you are remember the uh, integration of 1 upon a square plus x square that is 0 to 1 1 upon a say so we write 1 plus x square 10 inverse y upon root 1 plus x square now apply the limit limit is 0 to 1 plus root 1 plus x square the resulting we are taking the integration with respect to x now apply the limit we get 0 to 1 1 upon root 1 plus x square when you apply the upper limit 10 inverse 1 and 10 inverse 1 is what is pi by 4 now when you apply the lower limit so we get 10 inverse 0 so we get 0 and this resultant you take the integration with respect to x so here pi by 4 is constant and the integration of 1 upon 1 plus root x square is what is log x plus root 1 plus x square apply the limit 0 to 1 so when you apply the limit you get pi by 4 the upper limit log 1 and this is we get 1 so we get log 1 plus root 2 and we have to use the lower limit so we get log 1 and log 1 is what 0 we can say we obtain the z pi by 4 log 1 plus root 2 so in that way you can easily evaluate the double integration here you have to remember the limit or order of integration thank you continue the next lecture